I loved working there. I loved every minute of it. It was, I was doing something that I always wanted to do. I, I went to the North Devon Technical College for three years on a building course, but I always wanted to work in, in wood. And at the end of that time, I applied for an apprenticeship at Shapland and Petters. And with the help of a little carving I'd done when I was about 10, I suppose, but, um, they looked at that and they were quite impressed and signed me up right away. Um, so that was in 1953. We used to make reproduction of antique furniture, um, uh, Jacobean tables. They used to even sell them at um, Padfields. Uh, we used to do lots of desks and office furniture for Shellmex in London. We had an ongoing contract with them almost. And bank joinery, we did. Um, fitted out lots of banks around the around the place, but um, uh, the, the reproduction furniture was the most interesting thing I, I think we did as apprentices. It was almost run on military grounds because the managing director was Colonel Jack Oliver and a lot of the way in which it ran was just like the military. The foot soldiers were the hourly paid people. Um, the foremen were uh, like the NCOs. They were slightly above, but not that far above. When you're on the staff, you were the equivalent of an officer, if you like, and um, different rules applied. Uh, you got sick pay. Um, you you addressed the boss as Mr. Jack, whereas before he would have been Mr. Oliver or Sir. The cabinet makers apprentices were all in one big workshop together and we were under the instruction of a chap called Reg Northcote. Now he was a little fellow with balding and he had a bit of a speech impediment but he was brilliant. He was good at his job and we used to wind him up unmercifully. He was full of gusto so I was pretending one day that I was fitting a drawer in a desk and it was stuck. So I was sort of acting out that I was trying to tug it open and it wouldn't, wouldn't come along. So he said, what's your matter, my dear? I said, well, nothing, Reg. Let me she. So he pushed me out the way, got hold of it, gave it one almighty tug, and of course there was nothing wrong with it. And it flew out and he was back on his backside, the other side of the workshop. So um, that's the sort of um, antics we used to get up to. Uh, there was one occasion when we were making lots of wardrobes and we'd lined them up with a, with a, a cricket pitch down the middle and we were playing cricket. Whether it, I think it must have been the lunchtime and Colonel Jack came round. Colonel Jack Oliver came round and caught us. So I made the sign, the oval, and, and stuck, it out, stuck it over the door outside. I used to, we, well, a lot of us used to take this magazine called The Woodworker, which had lots of designs for contemporary furniture of that time and various things to make. And they started a series with this um, classical cl uh, Spanish guitar. So I thought it looked interesting. So I, th so I said, I'm, I'm going to make that. So one or two of the others said, well, they would as well. So uh, we followed the instructions and uh, just did a little bit every 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 lunch time. You know, you couldn't do very much because you had to have your lunch first, of course, have your sandwiches or whatever, and um, you know, did did a little bit bit by bit, nibbled away at it, and finished up with the uh, with the, with the guitar. I feel great. You know, I I really enjoy making this out of wood. And um, I mean, it's it all stems from the skills we picked up at, at Chaplin and Patrick back in the 1950s when we were doing, you know, some wonderful joinery work and furniture, which went all over the country. <laughs>